Concerns tonight about the soil and the groundwater near an old manufacturing plant in Plain City. Now, the site's still being cleaned after more than a decade since the plant closed. Many of you will remember the Ranco facility that had a massive presence on 42 in Union County. It produced temperature controls for decades and produced a lot of hazardous waste. Work is still being done to clean the lot. Ohio EPA proposing a plan to make sure testing continues. Our Stephanie Dupre was there tonight at that meeting. Steph, what happened? Well, Stacia, the proposed plan is to have a groundwater monitoring program over the course of a few years, and it will basically gauge whether there's a change in water quality. EPA wants to make sure it knows the extent of contamination, if any, throughout the property before development can happen. And things did get a little heated tonight from folks who still have concerns about their safety. Basically, all the corrective actions that have happened over the last 15 years, it's garbage science because your own document says you need to have, you need to know the extent of contamination before you can take a corrective action, period. That's your own document. So explain to me, please, how any of these corrective measures can be taken seriously. Concerns and questions from people who live close by to the former Ranco facility. The plant once sat on this piece of land along US 42 in Plain City. It was up and running from 1951 to 2008. It made temperature controls for things like cars, homes and buildings. At the time, hazardous waste from metals to make the thermostats contaminated the soil. The sludge was dug up in, in 2009 and taken to hazardous waste. For years, Ohio EPA says cleanup and testing has been happening. For example, in 2016, EPA says Ranco installed deeper portable wells for neighbors nearby and much more. Fast forward to today, EPA says it's not the current site, but an area west of the facility that's a concern. That sludge was buried in that area. The proposed plan is to have a groundwater monitoring program over the course of a few years. It will basically gauge whether there's a change in water quality. Some people raised eyebrows about how EPA came to its findings and how testing will affect their homes. In English, that means if you don't know where it is, all of your corrective actions that make you look like you're doing a professional and good job and make the community happy are lies because it's a guess. You don't know where it is for sure. So any corrective actions you're doing aren't actually protecting the people that live next door. That's me. The full action plan EPA presented tonight can be found on our website or our app. And if you weren't at tonight's meeting and you want to make a comment about it, you have until the end of the month to reach uh, EPA. And as for your drinking water, Ohio EPA testing shows there are no detectable toxic chemicals. On your side tonight, I'm Stephanie Dupre, Fox 28 News.